I got a lot of questions about um, the way it looks inside because I didn't really show it on the unboxing. But this is what it looks like. I had my camera right here, which I'm using right now, so that fits perfectly. And then I've got, you know, some lip stuff here with Hair Dealies and Perfume. It fits there perfect. Um, then I've got another lip thing down there because my husband likes me to carry one for him. And then my bucks and things just thrown down there. And then on this side, I've got my earphones, um, sunblock, the cash I carry, my clay, and my wallet. And then, actually behind there I have my glasses. And then my sunglasses do fit on top perfectly. So I'm not going to be using this because my sunglasses are smaller than this. Um, and this just really doesn't fit in well. So, but that's what it looks like. I still haven't taken the tag off because I'm still not sure if I'm keeping it or not. Um, I'm going to give it one more day and then decide. Um, my husband comes home tomorrow, so I'll show him when I get when he gets home. Um, he's the one that did say, yeah, keep it, but I just feel like <laughs> I'm so undecided. Undecided. So anyway, I'm about to switch into my petite in a way, but as you can see, there is the size difference. I really don't have a bag this small. I've got a Speedy 25, but the organization of this is really what makes me like it so much. I think the fact everything fits, like I can even like take my wallet out and put it back in and it's not like Tetris. You can take anything out and you can put it back in and there's not a problem. So as far as small bags go, it's really practical. Um, where I say I'm undecided is because I feel bad whenever I buy anything for myself. So yeah, and I know... I'm in my video, I really seemed unsure, and that's truly the reason. It has nothing to do with the patina or anything because, I don't know, it, it doesn't bother me on this one. I really like it. You all know I like dark bags anyway, but I usually like to do it myself. But um, this one truly isn't that dark. But um, I do appreciate everyone's opinion, though. It's been very helpful. I've been using this on repeat, as I've said so many times, but I just switched to this and I am actually going to use this. So let's see how much I can get in here. I was able to get my lip stuff in here. I don't think that that'll stand up straight. So annoying. See how small this stupid thing is? Okay, so that'll just have to lay down, I guess. Or it goes like that. But then I can't put this. Okay, so I've got a perfume, a chapstick, another lip thing, my lip liner, and then I want this in here too, but I don't want it to be. Like, look at this. This thing is so teeny. I seriously don't understand why people love this so much. I definitely think I totally wasted money on it. But there we go, and I'm going to put it inside my delightful PM. Is it bad to be tired and want another cup of coffee? Like, I know people drink more than one cup in a morning, but... No, I don't. I have one, and I had one this morning at like 6, I think, 6 a.m. And now it's... Four. I'm like dragging ass. I think I'm gonna have another iced coffee. Sunday. Um, I'm gonna dye my hair. Finally, I know I said I was gonna do it the other week, but I didn't do it. And my roots are terrible. I mean, I don't like get full like gray roots or anything crazy like that. I just get a few. But I bought some new hair dye, and I'm gonna put a different color in my hair. So, wish me luck because this might be really bad. Right now my hair is <laughs> in the setting process, so while I'm waiting I'm going to try to get rid of some stuff and literally like, look at all of this. And seriously, look at the jeans. My issue with jeans um, is that I may not wear them all right now, but one day I might. Yes, that sounds stupid. I know. Okay, so let me elaborate. They all fit me um, and trends come and go. So I can't right now, you know, I have a lot of like, you know, skinny jeans and stuff. And of course, I love my black jeans. I need to get more of those. I only have three. But 
you know, the kind, oh, those are skinny jeans, the kinds that have, like, that bottom, what are they, boot cut, that comes and goes in our, for styles, and I will still wear it now, but I have a ton of them. <laughs> um, so I also have these. Okay, I want to know y'all's opinion on this kind of stuff. Okay, denim is expensive, and almost all of my jeans either came from Nordstrom or they came from um, Buckle. Um, the majority came from Buckle, so they were about $80 plus. Um, and I wear them until they get holes like this. But I enjoy them whenever I have patches on them. So my mom's about to come visit, and I've put pieces of fabric in them that I would like to put, see another piece of fabric, that I would like her to put as a patch on my jeans. So I'd like to know y'all's opinion on keeping denim. I did sell a few because I just actually wasn't into the actual colors and styles. And they sold, you know, for like 25 bucks and they still had holes in them. So yeah, denim is expensive and kind of weird to say this, but it keeps its value. <laughs> so anyway, I need to go through this. I know I do. But I, I'm having the hardest time, like the absolute hardest time getting rid of stuff. I feel like I'm going to wear everything. But the truth is, this is the like my favorites plain gray shirts the one two three from target and then i'm not a big fan of um superman and batman so i don't know why i still have that up oh, another one then i've got my thick thighs save lives shirt which this is freaking awesome right okay so obviously that's staying okay the same kind of shirt but oh sorry the same kind of shirt as my gray one but it's just blue. Thor shirt, duh, keeping that. Batman, I know I didn't really love Batman, but I love this shirt. <laughs> um, Groot, so staying. Groot, so staying. Um, this is my new uh, Bob Ross shirt. Yeah, and then I've got Marvel, my Texas shirt, and then of course I've got this black BP shirt. So this is pretty much like Deadpool. The stuff that I will really wear. Ooh, this is my cozy and chic shirt. I need some more clothes from her. Love this shirt. But then, you know, I've got these other ones. Like, I just sold one of these. This BP twist top front shirt. Because um, I don't really wear them anymore. I feel like I had five. And I have three now. And I think it's just because I love this color. I love this purple. And of course, it's black. Black won't go anywhere. But they're out of style now. And I don't think that they're that flattering. Like, that twist thing is very pretty. But it kind of gives you the appearance of a pregnant belly. But, you know, that's something you could wear if you want to go eat a lot. <laughs> but it's not an excuse to keep a shirt. So anyway, I have got to get rid of some of the stuff. I need help. I need someone to tell me how to purge stuff. Like, I really need help. Like, look at this. Seriously, guys, I'm not kidding. Those are all good right there. I wear those all the time. But then look at this. I do wear some of these. Don't get me wrong. But there's no way I wear all of them. Tank tops. Tank tops. There's two on each of these. There's four on that one, one on that one. Look at this, oh, look at this one. There's like five on there. And then we come to the noodle strap shirts. What's this one got, it's five or six on here? More, like I only, that is four, five hangers full of ton of these. Why can't I get rid of them? The only time I wear them is where I wear them under these. That's literally it. Oh my God, I need help. Well, I got rid of a little pile, so I guess that's better than nothing. And that is actually like five or six noodle straps. Um, okay, so I'm finished. <laughs> I dyed my hair and clearly it did nothing. Like the new color that I added, um, I just did my roots and then I added another color to like the ends and then a few spots thinking it'd just be some fun pop of color and it didn't work. It didn't do anything. My color is my hair is still just super dark. So I guess that's just not something that I'm gonna be able to do. I've tried it several times. My husband's cousin does hair in Texas. She does it in Dallas and she's really good. And she did my hair before and I remember she did purple, but they didn't have the permanent one that we wanted at um, Sally's back then. They didn't make it yet. So it was a temporary one. So I had to keep going back in and fixing it. 
and the last time she came she tried to do the ends a color and it just didn't come out so I'm gonna have to actually go somewhere and have them strip parts and put some more color in because clearly if I want another color other than like super super dark I'm gonna have to go find somewhere to have it done which is super annoying because I hate paying like two or three hundred dollars to have my hair done